What's going on everybody, David here. Today we're talking travel tripods. So there are a few different variations. This is the big one that I carry usually when I'm out. Uh, when I go on, on trips, I'll bring this, I'll just strap it to the bottom of my bag. And I always bring it, this tripod's been through a lot. So it's carbon fiber, it's relatively light, and it's it's it works, however, um, I'm starting to bring these little mini travel tripods and I like those a lot better and I've actually gotten to the point now where I'll, I'll only use this maybe 10% of the time when I go out shooting usually what I'm doing is I'm bringing these these little Little uh, travel mini travel tripods and these all work really well and I've kind of I've evolved over time and let me kind of go over the first tripod that I got was this little uh, gorilla pod here and these are nice these work really well uh, they wrap around things and you can even put it uh, just straight up like that and have your camera on there it's not going to carry a DSLR but uh, it will carry smaller cameras mirrorless cameras and some point-and-shoot cameras and then action cams and stuff like that then I started looking at different ones like this I thought this was really nice uh, it's, it's all metal, so this will last a lifetime. Um, very sturdy, can hold a DSLR easily, but um, the only problem with this one is this one doesn't wrap around anything like this one does. So then I start looking at different things. Um, I start looking at these two, and I like this one. This is similar to the, the one that's all metal. This one's lighter, so I like that fact. I like the fact that it has a little ball head that moves around. Um, so I looked into that one and then this one here and this is this is where I started thinking oh okay you know what I think I, I think I know what I want so I like the fact that this is very sturdy it will hold a DSLR camera uh, not a large one but most most uh, medium-sized like a regular DSLR a Canon 5d mark 3 4 whatever it'll carry one of those easily um, you just can't really throw on that 70 to 200 lens you can but I I don't know, I would I would watch it really closely if I had it set up like that. So this is, this kind of sparked my interest here. And then I started looking at manufacturers, believe it or not, because I liked this, and this comes off here. This is just for, for cameras. I like this one, but I didn't like the little ball head. Very, very tiny ball head in there. So I started looking at some of the different manufacturers, and I ended up with this. And when I say ended up with this, I, kind of worked with them to get a design that I really liked. And the reason for that is I started purchasing them and then now I'm starting, now I'm selling them. So, uh, shameless plug, plug here, but I do have this, I'm selling them on Amazon. Uh, this is a this is a really nice one. And what I like about this, as opposed to the Gorillapod, which I, I really like the Gorillapod, but uh, the main difference here is, look at the range of motion here. So if I bend this around, I'm bending this around a pole it'll probably be fine but if it's a tree branch or something like that this is as far as it goes in you see if I keep pushing that I'm probably gonna uh, pop one of these little balls off so it'll it won't uh, it won't it'll only go that far so not bad but look at the range of motion with this one I can bend this one all the way in and if I'm if I'm gonna put that on a tree branch or anything like that I can easily get that on a tree branch and it will be really, really tight. So that's the main reason why I like this one over this one. Gorilla Pods, they have little rubber right here, which is nice, but in between, this is all plastic and it can be very slippery. Now with this, it's all rubber. This whole thing is rubber here. All these legs are rubber. So when you wrap this around, you can wrap it around a tree, you can wrap it around anything, uh, and it will, or I wrap it around a pole, like a slippery pole, and it will really stick to it. It has these little grooves in, on the uh, on the rubber. So it's really a nice setup. Uh, and I also like the little ball head. The ball head was the main thing that I was uh, concerned with with the other one. This one will hold a little more weight because of the ball head. The ball head. And it tilts that way. So if you want to shoot a portrait shot, you can do that. And then it also has a little, little device here where you can move it. So if I... Hold it out like this, that's at one level, then I can close it down, turn it like that, 
and that's at another level so just a little lower to the ground so these are all great um, like I said I am selling this one and I will post a link in the description to all of these so you can check them out but uh, they're they're travel tripods are great um, these little mini tra tripods because like I said I use the big one 10% of the time most of the time I'm out here with these and I'll just do this fold it over like that stick that in my back pocket or wrap it usually I, I can you can just twist it kind of like that wrap it around your handle the handle of your bag and just carry it like that uh, and then when you find where you want to take your shot you kind of walk around okay this is where I want to take it take the camera out twist it a little bit there put it where you want it take the shot and then uh, you know un unhook it from the tripod put the the camera back in the bag take this put it in your back pocket wherever go to the next spot I like doing that. I don't like having my camera stuff out when I'm in uh, foreign countries. Uh, that's definitely uh, a negative. You don't want to do that. <laughs> so um, when you have a tripod like this, first off, you'll have this. It's going to be attached to your bag. So they're going to see this big, big tripod. And another thing is when you set everything up, you have this out, you put your camera on top here. And, and, and I've done this and I think a lot of us have done this but you have your camera there and you're you're all ready to go you set your you set it up you take your picture and then now you have this and the camera's on there and you're like okay what am I gonna do I don't feel like taking this all down flipping these legs back over and all that so what do you do you just throw it over your shoulder and you start walking and it's easy it's easy to do that because when I find the next spot just set it down, take my picture, then I'm off to the next spot. It's perfect, but when you're in another country, you don't know the whole situation. You might be in an area that's not not the best area for you to be in. You have three, four thousand dollars worth of gear, and that's not good. So, uh, usually, I will not bring this tripod, and I'll have the camera in my camera bag, and I'll take one of these small little mini tripods, and that's what I'll use for that for that reason. Okay, so uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have little mini tripods and you use those and you like them, let me know. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Please subscribe for more. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.